Uh, my name is Aisha Temuri and I am the Enterprise Data Officer at Telenor. Uh, Telenor, as you know, is the biggest, uh, is huge and it is the biggest uh, communication service provider. Uh, we provide telecom services, we provide data, we provide TV, we do provide many different areas where the communication with the customer. So yes, there are uh, the problems, but the major challenge of what I would be facing keeping and retaining the right talent in the organization, having those data scientists, training them and uh, making them enable to the level that we can use them. It's very difficult to retain these people because they become very, very important for the market at the same time. The second important is the right and the strong data governance, which is very important. These things should be dealt in the most professional and more rightly way, in a way that we can deliver the right results on time without wasting much efforts because uh, technology changes every day and uh, we cannot wait for new things to come up and adapt to it. So we need to be aligned our workforce, our people, our teams, tools, processes, everything so that the data transformation once it occurs in, as far as technology, we are able to adapt to it. Choosing Denodo uh, was a matter of choice for our group. And back in 2017, uh, Telenor Group has decided in all of course, all over the world, to go for data visualization layer in our architecture. This means Denodo has to be everywhere in the Telenor Group. Uh, we have uh, Denodo installed in Norway, we have Denodo in Sweden, we have Denodo in the Nordic area. Now in Telenor Pakistan, I'm also working on making sure that we are using the maximum for this virtualization. If I give you a little bit of history of how this virtualization work in the telcos, we have a project in 2017, which is called NFV, and we are, have deployed this layer into our network in a way that uh, every component of our telecom network became virtualized. When this uh, data transformation uh, occurred, we have analytics uh, area within our teams and the companies. We decided that now is the time we have to have this virtualized layer. The Noto virtualized layer uh, would be helping us in many ways because at this point in time, the, our biggest challenge is we can't go for uh, public cloud because of the regulatory restriction. Uh, we need to have uh, all those storage and all these compute requirements that could be handled very nice way through passing the data through Denodo because if we just we have to just spend so much money on the infra cost security and uh, stability of those network having those people to and the governance network systems all those things so if the technology can handle it you don't need to just spend so much money elsewhere so this is uh, Denodo is uh, the right choice even in my company to just uh, have those virtualization layer within our BI architecture. Business benefit for our customers are yet to come because uh, we have identified about 50 use cases that we are going to go through Denodo. At this point in time, since I told you, uh, analytical enablement platform and the program that our group has initiated back in 2017. So my job was to make sure that all these platforms which we, from which we are not making the maximum benefit and maximum use could be up and running into the network. So Denodo was one of them and there are many others also. So this uh, platform is now up and running. We have uh, made sure that one first use case has been uh, successful into our network and this help us uh, saving the, if you talk about the matrix wise, because we have tons of data every day and every time. And so have the real time data analytics was a big challenge. So Denodo helped us in having that real time data analytics part. And we have now connectivity between our big data platform and towards the campaign management solution that our commercial and marketing team is currently using. So this was the most pain area for us and our commercial team, they know to help us in solving that particular use case. Now uh, over the road, across the road, we have uh, other use cases on Denodo which has been identified by all our teams, uh, both technology team and the commercial team at the same time. Uh, like I said, we have already identified uh, about 50 use cases at the moment. And it keeps on coming because now 
modernization of our BI architecture is my first priority. So since I joined Telenor, uh, I my role was nothing just to just uh, see where are the gaps and bridge them together and bridge the data with the business as such. Uh, Denodo use cases are already been identified in the company and now we are one by one using them and that's a huge business benefit for us definitely it's not about Denodo it's about the rest of the platforms that we are using and we have a big ambition to be the AI first telco so we need to be ahead of our competition and Telenor has always been considered as a disruptive in uh, just uh, adopting to the new technologies uh, ahead of the competition, ahead of other companies. So we are going to be the AI first telco very soon and Denodo is helping us in that journey.